Hi, my name is Moala and welcome to my tutorial. In this session, we are going to talk about animation or custom animation or we can say page transition in Bforex pages. This will be our result of this session. So when I click on this one, I see a kind of fade. And when I click on this one, you know, from bottom to top, stay tuned. Let's create everything from scratch. So I need two layouts, one for page one, one for page two. So let's create them. New one actually, and the background, maybe this is red. Very good. We want to keep everything very simple. Page one and another layout, maybe blue. And this is page two. Okay, now we need two pages class, page class actually. Okay, from here I can say before X page. Page one and page two. Now I want to load the first layout here and the second layout here. Maybe red one and blue one. Okay. So root dot load layout. First one, red one. And now please load the, the blue one. Okay. We had one button here. We don't need this text. So maybe by this button, we want to show the first one, the red one, and another button to show the blue one. So let's create that. So this, uh, this one is supposed to show the red one. Text, red page. And we can duplicate this to show blue page. And we need click event for this one. We had it. Now we need click event for this one. Sorry if that is out of the screen. Yes, very good. Now we need those four lines of code to show the first one and second one. I wish it was easier, not four lines of code. Anyway, dim p1 as page one, dim p2 as page two. Now we can initialize them both p1.initialize, p2.initialize. And now we can add them to Bforex pages. Add page. I have a new page, its name is, let's make it simple, p1. p1 this variable. So we are adding this variable to Bforex pages. And from now we call it P1, again the same name. Okay, let's add the other page, P2. Okay, very simple. Now we can uh, show them actually. Show what? I need the first ID here. So I made this ID out of this variable. What is this variable? This class. So this class, this ID, now I'm using, from now I'm using this ID. Okay, and here, before X pages, show P2. Okay, let's see the result, the moment of truth. Anyway, that was very simple. 
okay let's wait now we have red page and blue page okay um as you see there is you know a kind of animation which starts from here to here let's see i don't know whether you can see that or not but when i click on this one it starts from here and expands you know is expanding from yeah i don't know whether you can see that or not uh i'm afraid about the quality of the video okay very good so the first thing that i want to do is to get rid of default animation myself i don't like this default animation so let's get rid of that to get rid of default animation we can do something like this before x and uh, what was that get manager dot wow there are many things here we will talk about them later maybe but what we need now is this one transition animation duration so as you may guess if you make it zero let's see wow that's nice isn't it i think this is faster than normal activity the transition between normal activities because it's only one class and it's showing a class very good the next step the next step is to define our own animation how to do it let's see okay to define a custom transition we can define new animation so i create one sub inside each of them so for example i call that animation or anim and maybe one sub here and one sub here and then while showing them i can call this animation this sub the first one let's make it very simple so i want to fade it fade in actually so first i make it invisible and second one let's take set and you see bunch of animations for example color animation change the background color with a transition animation between the from color and the to color okay very nice and uh, let's go to the second one this one I use it a lot layout animation it's about size and position position of the object which is this one root and the size rotation and um, this one text size because it says uh, Eddie label button and other things that's good I need to try it and visible animation this is what I want now so duration maybe 1000 and now i want to make it true the visible so it was false now it takes 1000 milliseconds to be visible and now the only thing that i need to do is p1 dot anim why do i say p1 this is a good point about using uh, before x pages i defined that here and now i have access to all 
sobs inside page one and this is one of them okay and if you type a private maybe you cannot see it there let's see if I can see create no I cannot see that so if you don't want to see something from outside you can say private this way you cannot see that now you see this error here yes I don't have it here but if you don't type that you can see that okay let's try it let's go to emulator wow it's nice isn't it but I think it takes too much time in my real application maybe I prefer 500 or something like this let's see yes it's better because I don't want to take too much time to load something now let's create another animation here this one let's use layout animation so what I want to show is showing from bottom to top from here to here so the first thing that I need to do is to take it there okay it needs to be out of the screen then I want it to I want to drag it from bottom to top so I say root the top is equal to a uh, 100 percentage of uh, of y and then I need to animate that set layout animation duration let's leave it 1000 left is zero this is the final position left top width and height so this is the primary position so I want it to be out of the screen when I say the top is 100% of Y it will be out of the screen now what is my final position so it will be out of the screen then I want the left to be zero the top to be zero and the width is a root dot width and the height you know root dot height so zero zero for left and top and for width maybe root dot width and for height root dot height okay and now p2 dot anim let's save it and see the result this is fade animation wow I'm missing something maybe I need to reload the application yes this is fade yes it's working but as you see hmm even this one is too much for this maybe this one yes and you can mix them together for example layout animation and fade animation and the other ones like uh, what was that rotation animation and other things it depends on your creativity and graphical skills okay I hope you enjoyed this tutorial too and please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit that like button if you'd like my video.